Welcome to Future Vision. Today I am going to discuss that how we can install Kali Linux in VirtualBox. So to install the Kali Linux on VirtualBox, first we need to download the Oracle VirtualBox. So to download the Oracle VirtualBox, you need to you need to first open your favorite browser and you need to write here that VirtualBox. So you will see here that this is the official virtualbox.org website. So you have to click on the download. From the download, you will find here the uh, virtualbox download options. So we have the options for Windows. We have the option for Mac. We have uh, options for Solaris and so on. So we are going to install the virtual box on Windows. So we have to click on the Windows host and current version of the virtual box is available that is 7.0.20. So we have to wait for the installation is finished. So the total size for Oracle virtual box for the latest version, it is 105 megabyte. So we have to wait until the installation is finished. So we can see here that the uh, uh, download setup for setup for VirtualBox is uh, downloaded. So now we will go to the download folder and in the download folder, uh, we will run the setup for VirtualBox. So when we will set, so it will ask you that uh, for the permission, do you want to allow this app to make changes in your device? So we have to simply select yes. So then, we have to uh, just click on the next and then this is the custom setup uh, window. So no need to change anything. So we have to click on the next and then we have to uh, click on the yes. So again, we have to click on the yes. And this is the, again, uh, please uh, uh, choose the uh, from the option below start we have to create start menu entries create a shortcut on the desktop so no need to uncheck anything so simply click on the next and then click on the install So now we can see here that Oracle uh, VM VirtualBox installation is complete. So we have to click on the finish. So after uh, doing this, so we can see here that our VirtualBox icon is created on the our desktop. So now we can double click to run it. So VirtualBox installation is completed now the next step is we will open our browser again and we will search for the Kali Linux okay so we will write uh, Kali Linux download so we will click and now we can see here that the official website for Kali Kali.org is open we will click on the download from the download This is the download option which is available. So here, so we have to click on the download and now we have to choose the platform. So because we have the two option installer image and virtual machine. So because we are going to install uh, on the Oracle. So we have to select the virtual machine. Now we will have after clicking. So we have the two options 64 bit and 32 bit. So which uh, we want to install 64 bit or 32 bit. So we have selected 64 bit. So we have VMware, we have VirtualBox, we have Hyper-V. So because we are going to install on VirtualBox, so we will click on the VirtualBox. So after clicking, uh, the download process will be started. So you can see here that download process is started. 
<clears throat> total size for this file is 3.1 gigabyte and it will take time to download. So we have to wait until the download process is finished. After the download will finish, the Kali Linux setup will uh, finish then you will go to the download folder and you will find the, this file and dot seven zip. Okay, so this is a zip file. So if you have any uh, unzip app installed on your computer, so you can unzip uh, this file. If you did not have any uh, unzip application, so you have to install the first unzip application to unzip this file. So here, uh, I already have the WinRAR app to unzip this, so I will right click and then I will extract the file here. So, uh, because this file size is 3.1 gigabytes, so it will take some time to unzip. When the ANSI process will be completed, so you will get the folder, this folder. And if you open this folder, you will find two files inside this folder. And uh, one file is, that is the first one that is vbox file dot, its type is that you can see the type virtual box machine definition. So this is called vbox file. And the second file you will find here that is uh, VDI file. So this second one is the virtual disk image. So this is the VDI file. So these two files we need. Okay. So now what we will do, we will open the, uh, our virtual box. So this is our virtual box. So, uh, we have to open it. And currently you can see here, there's no any virtual machine here. So the, the two files, which we have download it. So these are the two downloaded file. So you will see here what I will do simply I will click on the VBox file. So the first file, so you can see here the blue color. So when I click it, so you will see the change. So now you can see the in virtual box, this Kali Linux that is, it comes here. Okay. So now we also need the second file that is VDI file. So what is the current uh, location of this VDI file? So we can see here the VDI file is currently available in E4 uh, drive. So we need the location of this file. Okay, so we will copy it. Then we will go to the setting. Okay, so in setting, what we need to check. So first we need to check the system. So our memory, that is okay. There's no need to change anything. So we will go to the processor. So here we have to select the four, four processors. So you can see here, I have selected the four processor and then no need to make any modification in display. So we have to go to the set uh, storage in storage. So you can see here that when I click on the storage, so this controller that this VDI file link is already created. Okay, so this link is already created. So if this link is not created, so what you need to do, you have to click on the uh, this plus sign and on the plus sign, you can add it manually. Okay, so we can add it from manually from uh, clicking on the this plus sign. So after that, we have to click on OK. So currently, now our Kali Linux that is configured. So what we need to do, just we need to click on the start. So when we have clicked on the start, so it will now install the Kali Linux on our system. So you can see here that the process is already started. So it will take some time. Until the process is completed, so we have to wait.
Okay, now the after completion uh, installation is complete. So now there is a uh, asking, this is the window asking the username. So what we need to do, we have to give here the username Kali, K-A-L-I in small letter. Then in password also, we have to give the Kali and we need to click on the login. So now, now we can see the desktop. Okay, so for Kali Linux, so we can see here the desktop. So uh, if we want to open the terminal, so writing command, so we will click here. So this is our terminal. And in the terminal, we can write the different commands okay, like this. So this is a very simple step, uh, how we can install the Kali Linux in VirtualBox. Okay. So if you want to close it, simply we will click on close and from here, we will click on uh, sign out. Okay, so we have the option here, log out or we have the option here, shutdown. If you want to shut down our machine, so we will click on shutdown. So it will take some time and it will shut down our system. So I hope you enjoyed uh, this video and I will see you in our next video. Thank you very much.